what is going on everybody and welcome back to some more banishers ghost of new eden so i wanted to start off this video uh we are here in this settler's camp and just to find a witch but i got some stuff to do so first things first let's go see seeker because i have a few tokens or um witch stones that i need to trade in and also see how she's doing See if maybe she has a quest for us, but either way, I got to use these witch stones. What the hell? So this is now closed off. weird hold on where is she at and which way am i going yeah her shop is this way What do you want? More to the point. What do you need? Seeker? Milady? Anything interesting you'd trade with a banisher? Say for yourself. Okay, so... Let's definitely get, I'm okay with soul shards. Get another scourge. And I tend to get elite gems. So let's get another void splinter. Uh, should be good. We'll be going. Hope to talk again soon. Sure. Alright, let me see what's blocking off this area. And then we will head back to the camp and figure out this whole witch situation before we move uh, back to that mining settlement and handle some of the haunting cases they have there. Okay, so I got one there. Where's the other one? Trust me, you don't want a garden. Nice. Get that cleared out. So my outfit is at Relic. It has no more upgrades, so that's done. This one's at a Relic. Um, I wanted to get my weapons up. Yeah, I need uh, two more Scourge. I got plenty of Waxy Cap for that.
Uh, Nest Splinter. And then the next one, I'm going to need more Elite Gems. Hmm. Could upgrade this one. Oh, that would burn through all my waxy cap. But it would take the punch power to 20. I think I'll wait. Um, because I need the waxy cap for the... Is it the weapon? No. Um, yeah, I think it's for my swords. Yep. All right. Let's head back. And also, I'm close enough I can get to this uh, rescue mission now, too. It is our honor you're here, sir. You're the governor's son, right? I... Uh, yes, sir. Lamentation Haskell. Friends call me Lammy. Oh, they would if I had any. Please, call me Lammy. I have so many questions, sir. So many questions. But I suspect this is not the time. No, not the time. But perhaps you may help me anyway. Me? Why, if I can help, I'd be honored. Those ghost wards are quite unique. They are, aren't they? Conceived by Etienne Roulet, but made by my father. Do you use them as well in your line of work? Not really. I mostly talk to ghosts. I don't repel them. Of course. Still, each tool has its purpose, and these troubled times we need all the tools we can get. Magic is glorious when wielded by the righteous. You seem to know a lot about it. Uh, oh, if only, sir, if only. I'm still learning. Many of the subtleties and nuances escape me yet. Hmm, that was weird. Your father believes there is a Harrow's Witch. Have you noticed anyone acting strange? I... I'd answer, sir, I surely would, only things being as they are, everyone is acting strange. The curse brought illness, illness brought division, division has led to strife. We could do with some healing, sir, we could. We need you to bring us peace. Good day to you, Lammy. Good day to you, sir. Okay, let's talk to some more residents. We also got a shop down here, too. The governor's speech was so inspiring. Good day to you both. And a good day to you, too, sir. And wasn't that quite the entrance you made? You'll be the talk of the town. So, what brings you to our wee corner of the world? The governor bade me make the rounds. He suspects evil doing. If it's evil doing you're after, you may turn around and hurry back to New Eden Town. Now, if it excuse us, my sister's not feeling well and we must hurry home. Dear Yves, I didn't catch your name. God be with you and your terrible pronunciation. Mary Claire O'Hara, this is my sister Elizabeth. I'm no healer, but I'll help if I can. Do you have plants as need gathering? Something to ease the pain. All the meadow sweet and vervain in the world will not help this fever, I fear. We need no help from the godless. Thank you very much. Our faith guides and protects us. From where comes the fever? <sighs> A bad cush that's spoiled. Tis not your concern. 
She's dangerously sick. Either she doesn't know it, or she knows it and is hiding it. It's pleasant to meet another Gale. Where in Ireland are you from, exactly? We left Clarenbridge for Boston many years ago. How's life with the English? We're all the same saints under God, sir. And we too are New Englanders now. After seven years in service, we've earned our place here. Noticed anything strange around here of late? Strange? A fine word for the devil's work. I call it evil. Look around you. The harrows are dying. Our flock took sick. Every last animal dead. Ram, lamb and you. Then the people took their turn. Mm. Many of our neighbours are with the Lord. At least, that's where we hope they are. If there's witchery afoot, I'll need help finding the culprit. Do you have suspicions you'd care to share? Well, Caleb Watson lately talks to himself. And if you interrupt him, why, he's as rude as a goat. And he was such a well-mannered man, too. Lord forgive me, but I don't like him. The man has stopped washing. He reeks. Caleb Watson, was it? Where can I find him? He's the cobbler. So you'll find him in the cobbler shop. I'll let you rest, so. Slan live. Goodbye to you. Be sure to fear the Lord and faithfully serve him. Goodbye to you, sir. Give us this day our daily bread. Our bread, not our ale. Our bread! Do you want us to starve? I should have the yeast. You know it, Mistress Harry. You know it full well. If you want Okay. Mm. All right, let's get to the cobbler shop. you sir likewise red mccraith you a pericottle i'm the baker what are you doing out here in the rustics i'm a banisher i'm looking for ghosts we'll find no ghosts here sir nor demons the governor in his piety sees to that i envy your faith mr cotto how's that working out so far Have you noticed anything strange lately? Changes in demeanour, odd comings and goings? Lucy Barrow goes picking plants. All furtive like. I've seen her. I've watched her. She puts them in her strange concoctions. You won't tell me what's in there. Maybe she'd spill it to you. And where might I find this Lucy Barrow? The ale wife, when she's not... Furtively picking herbage may be found in the ale house. I should go. God go with you. It smells like death all of a sudden. Mm, this is the cobbler's justice. Start anew. Shite on these people. They can't hurt us. But how could you make him kiss it again? Oh, there. Are you all right, sir? We're closed. Uh, uh, oh, now. Out with you. Leave. Leave. I can tell from your sorry demeanor that you won't mind me asking you a couple of questions. I'm Red McCraith. I'm a banisher. I'm searching the area for evidence of witchcraft. And you, I can tell, are itching to help me. Show your shite and shapes, goose peddler. No witches here. Only myself, Caleb Watson.
The governor bade me make the rounds. Is anyone acting strange? Why would he ask you that? Everyone keeps secrets. And I have a talent for uncovering them. I ain't got no secrets. I ain't done no wrong. Search me house, if you don't believe me. See for yourself. And when you're done, if you're any kind of man, you'll come back here, doff your cap, apologize, then shite off and never come back. If you're looking for someone acting strangely, I think you've found your man. I'll be leaving you alone for now. A man content with his own company is never alone. <laughs> you hear that? Good one, right? <laughs> Fear not. You'll bugger off soon. They both will. Mmm. He can sense Anetta. Anetta. Let's see. Aha. Okay. Yet who redeemed himself at the end by rushing headless, uh, heedless into the flames of futile effort to save his sister-in-law. Ruth and Alexander Watson, the cobbler's wife and brother. He's surely haunted, but where's the ghost? What's this? It's not metal, not wood. Bone, it's bone. Lovely. Dare brief my bond down house? Why keep it here? This is wrong. It's wrong, wrong, I tell you. Ruth married Caleb, but his brother died trying to save her. A surprisingly noble act for a drunk. I think we need to talk to Caleb Watson. A medallion found in Caleb Watson's cobbler shop engraved with the initials RW and continue on lock of blonde hair. It is in poor, very poor condition. It's ours anyway. Should have been ours since the beginning. You know it's true. You done enough sniffing, hmm? Tired of the smell of your own ass. You said you had no secrets. That was a lie, am I right? Everyone has secrets. I can smell your secrets from here, mate. A pox on you. And a pox on your questions, too. You'll not take him head on. You must take your time. Outflank him. There's burned debris out back. I found bone in it. Where does it come from? You must have little business if you spend your time sifting through my rubbish. It came from the house. Probably. I read your letter to Ruth. It's clear you loved her. Are you telling the truth about Alexander's infidelity? My name is Caleb Watson. And before God and all present, I swear that the letter I wrote to Ruth was a load of shite. Lusting for his beloved Ruth, I set out to ruin Alexander's name because I'm a greedy little prick. You're frank. You don't sound like you regret it, though. No. The past the past. Dead and buried. My brother is but a lingering memory. It was terrible what happened to your wife and brother. It might have helped if you'd mentioned that. You must be grieving. Do you mind if I ask where they're buried? Shite on me, shite bag brother. And shite on you, too. They're both deep in the dirt up at God's Acre, and I'll speak no more of it. What's going on at God's Acre, Caleb? 
Shite off with your God's Acre, and good riddance to both. God's Acre concerns you not. You need to tell me what happened here. Stop hiding. Nothing happened. I buried... I buried all... Quiet, you. And you can shite off, taking your nothing happened with you. Whatever happened, it happened at God's Acre. He's wrong. Let's go find this man's secret. Make a quick purchase. Ah, the famed and famous banisher. The one and only Red McWraith. Have we met? I was at the meeting house. You've got guts. I like that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ooh, politeness. Gives me the shits. I'm Phoebe Walcott. I buy and sell. Now then, what's your pleasure? May I see your wares? I'm a shopkeeper, aren't I? Yes, you may see my wares. Let's see what she has. So she got a little cash map. Defeating enemy with melee attacks increase the damage of the next manifestation by 70%. Your points gained are increased by 30%. Hmm. For now, I'll just buy the map. Just in case I come across it. Till we meet again. You mind your good self, do you hear? Alright, let's see. How far is Good Acre? Hey, okay. Uh, let me remove the highlight here. So we're on the road. Thoughts on Caleb? You first, young man. Haunted. To the point of madness. Ruth and Alexander, maybe? Maybe. But something feels off. We jump to no conclusions. Instead, we gather proof. I wonder what's waiting for us at the cemetery. Maybe a scourge. Well, God's acre. God's acre. Too heavy to lower from your side. Alright. Gotta go around. Yep, there's my jump. See anything here? Nope. Alright. Yeah, something's definitely waiting for us. Here we are. Let us find the graves of Alexander and Ruth, and whatever got Kate up acting so strange.
Let me first open the bridge. Someone's been doing some undertaking. In New Eden, there's much to be done. You're within gun range, Ren. Within gun range. Done. Think you could take on a ghost? There we go. All right. Get rid of all of that. Done. Exactly were they stealing? Ruth Watson. There's another grave beneath it. Interesting. I get the feeling that we have such ducks. Piss off. Done. Decoys to distract wayward specters. Rudimentary. Someone's had a little training. Undertakers did this, they should find other work. I doubt there's a job on Earth that suits whatever did this. Here did lie Alexander Watson. Did Caleb take their bodies? Someone did, and he's at the top of my list. Well, they made quite the mess. Hmm. Perhaps the decoys may show us the way. Follow the path. Don't get too close. I try. Okay, so according to the map, where is it at? Okay, right there. This way. More of them. Ready and waiting. That's what I was talking about when I said don't get too close.
Okay, so we're zigzagging between decoys. Demonology. I should have known. Got a scourge now. Again. He's persistent. I'll grant him that. Oh, I missed. Oh, good. It landed. Switch to red. Oh no. Don't just stand there. Move. Done. Oh, I hate those things. Wasn't your first. Won't be your last. Aye. Thank you. Shrines now? With bones? It's like Lady Blackwood's boudoir around here. Old emotions are trapped here. Oh, there, fella. You're nasty, aren't you? Nasty, yes. But also shoddy. It's very poor work. Hmm. I'm missing a parchment. Are you sure we didn't miss anything? With a bit of luck, we'll find what we need. That's not the parchment that I'm looking for. I feel something close. Ah, there it is. The parchment. What is this? It looks like a butchered version of the ritual of lesser palingenesis. The ritual of... that ritual? The one that brings someone back? That ritual? Yes, that ritual. Now step from the shadows. That's not the ritual I'd have used.
Return it's also not the right screen. Oh. Okay. Still confusing your charms. Oh, hark for echoes. Luncheon. It literally is telling me that. He may show Marhunyanish. As flesh unto verb, as verb unto heart, as heart unto flesh. Death's knot is unsevered, and I shall cut it. Caleb Watson invoked a ghost without a body for it to inhabit, so it took his. Caleb is no longer Caleb. He got the wrong ghost too. He used pieces of his wife and also of his brother. Ruth, Alexander, Caleb could be any combination of them in there. Let's go find out which. Interesting. What's over here? Huh? All right, so I got the rope set up. Let me go back. I know there was another path we came from what's down this way ah chest just gonna have to banish Caleb or blame him and get rid of all three of them at the same time hmm, it's over here
Alright, so that's another farmer. Who's that? Yes. Something's here. I think I might be missing one still, though. Another curse. Yeah, I'm missing one more farmer. Could have missed it. So we cleared up here already. Nothing that way. Ah, there it is. Sweet. Go ahead and lift this cursed object. See what new gear we get. Sent back. Oh, a protective charm. Let's see, is it better than what I have? So, let's see. Damage dealt by Matea is increased by 60% against. Full health enemies, so I guess first attack, she does 60%. You know, all of these are like, do this, but get this. Yeah, this one's actually not bad. It's just I lose. Um, well, I can upgrade the persistence and I just don't get the willpower. Yeah, I drop a lot of will. Because that is my increased bandage damage. Yeah. But I'm sure, pretty sure I could do something else to increase that. And spectral points as I upgrade it, it'll get better. Yeah, I might have to work on this one. All right. And I believe, what else did I get? I got a ring. Ah, uh, yeah, it was a brooch. Outburst area of effect size is increased by 70%. Oh, 
punch attack damage is increased by 5%. Yeah, no. Good. Yeah, I'm still, I just realized I'm still rocking a green brooch. I need to see what I need to do to upgrade that. But for now, let's go see Caleb. Get out of here. Not too bad. Hoping I can shoot him down. How oh, should I be that the ritual will work? Caleb's work was poor. Your work will be good. Cold feet? No. Not now, not ever. The ritual shall work, and all shall be well. I promise. Alright, let me check out this pier before we go in there and confront Caleb. some linen and a soul shard. Just a little hole. I thought it was a cave. I was like, weird. I wonder where that goes. Been to God's Acre. Quite a tale it told us. You're not Caleb, are you? Or at least not entirely. Ah, can't fog you. Alexander Watson. Long tale short, Caleb tried to bring his dead wife back, and I live here now. So many questions. Where to even start? He was trying to bring his wife back. How did you end up in the mix? Caleb made a fine cobbler, a poor brother, a worse husband, and a truly terrible witch. The ritual went to shite, because, <laughs> of course he <it> did. <laughs> Do both of you share Caleb's body? Share? <laughs> No. This house of flesh is mine. But because I am a generous man, I allow my brother to live in the cellar. We were twins. I was the rotten half, they said. But who's the rotten half now? There's something else you should know. If you don't know it already, I'm not alone. 
I completed the ritual. My darling Ruth is in here too. Caleb was no saint, but this is hellish grim. Does he deserve it? Aye, he does. And it's not like I killed him. He's alive in here somewhere. Watching me ruin his name. He can hear me now. Destroying his reputation. As I had to hear him destroy mine when he painted me a fornicator. How oh, nice. He took our love. Ruth and mine, and killed it. Now our love's reborn, and he can do naught but sit and watch. Caleb was a cad. Shite on him. Let him suffer. You died trying to save Ruth from a burning house. True. True. I'm sorry. It is an awful way to go, and so young, too. You deserve better. We deserved better, and now we have it. And with it, Caleb gets to make amends. For he did nothing. He stood and watched us burn. <clears throat> Caleb's name was ruined then. We're just putting the boot in. You used the ritual to bring Ruth's spirit into Caleb's body. Why? Love moves a soul to strange endeavors. We deserve a better life. I set myself to claiming it. I understand your anger, more so your desire. But what of Ruth? Did you consider what she wanted? Caleb stole a life from me. But he also stole Ruth's voice. She shrank beneath him. Of course she wanted a second chance at life. I'd like to hear this from Ruth. May I please speak with her? No! We've carved ourselves out a little happiness at last. I'll not have you break it. Please, leave us alone. Give us this. We need to speak to her, one way or another. If he won't tell us anything, Perhaps the house Ruth died in will. I'll be leaving you alone for now. Alone? <laughs> Not really. Hush now. All is well. Nothing bad will ever come to us again. Let's see what his portrait says. So, Alexander, okay. Ruth and Alexander are having an affair in her husband's body. I can't find an angle with that. Isn't it just plain wrong? Something feels wrong. Something about Ruth. If we find the ghost tie, we can talk to her. Okay. No, I don't need to be in here right now. We need to find the house that burned down. These are our houses that are being built. Take care. The place is warded. The ghost wards feel far away from here. Just one keeps me from manifesting. Fancy knocking it down? Mm. Where is it at? <laughs> ah, there it is. Need a stronger hand from your favorite ghost?
Hmm. Nothing over here. Oh, it's the uh -huh. The roof fell in with them inside. There's a lot of debris. That's the way to climb up. Let's set this up first. Go in this way. doesn't like it. I didn't push it far enough. There you go. Uh, Ruth's burnt journal. Caleb and I have another discussion this morning. I went walking and caught him sobbing in the garden when I came back. He apologized and I took that badly too. He's kind and romantic and listens well, which is why I married him. But I sometimes, but I am sometimes uncomfortable. He is my husband and I am his wife, a woman to be loved and not an icon to be worshipped. Time is be nearby. Complete book of birds. This work shows real sensitivity. Caleb? Maybe. Not Alexander. I suspect we've just learned a little about Ruth. Wow. Ruth Watson's heart. A withered human heart. It belonged to Ruth Watson. Of course. Ruth's heart binds them like a bushel of rotting corn. Oh, didn't miss anything. Oh, let's get out of here. You! What do you have there? Stop right there, you rank rump! Whatever you found, it ain't yours! You buried Ruth's heart in the ashes of the house that killed her. I find that odd. You, a ghost, went digging in the ashes of a dead woman's house. You're ill-positioned to call me odd. Don't think I haven't felt your presence before. Stow your tongue while I speak with Ruth. Ruth, can you hear me? Can you speak? Pock off and die! I'm in charge here! No! Hush ye, Alexander. I'll speak. I'm Ruth. I hear you. I'm Antea Duarte. We're here to help. Oh, I'm glad. Please, end this nightmare. Help me. Look, go to hell in a bag of shite. We're fine. And you have not the right, you hear? You've not the right. Okay, so uh, Her heart! Give it back. I must summon you. No more does he silence me. 
We may speak. Help me, please. Caleb's letter changed your life. How did it feel at the time? It tore me in two. I loved Alexander. But I deserved to marry a man who would be true. Caleb seemed decent. I, I believed he loved me. I thought I'd married the better brother. But I'd married a liar. A liar and a devil. And yet, not even he deserves this. No one deserves this. How did Caleb treat you? With adoration. I was an idol. Worshipped, yet unloved. He was the sculptor and I was the statue. Smiling down, unmoving from my pedestal with nothing to say. Now I'm sewn into a festering sack with the quivering remnants of my husband and the angry ghost of his dead brother. Please, let me out. Who taught Caleb the resurrection ritual? To say it was taught would mean he'd learned it. He read it off a page. As a sorcerer, Caleb makes a fine cobbler. Think about Caleb. He was a good listener. As he worked, clients would bend his ear. The Haskell boy, for one. As Caleb pinned the governor's shoes, young Lammy would talk magic. N nonsense, really. But Caleb was listening. Wait. Lammy Haskell gave Caleb the resurrection ritual. After Lammy mentioned the ritual, Caleb became obsessed with it. He begged. Lammy, in his misplaced generosity, gave it. Caleb was intent on dark work. Lammy furnished written instructions. Ruth, your husband Caleb's botched resurrection ritual brought you back, but allowed his brother Alexander to take you hostage. Once we deal with the Watson brothers, you shall be free to ascend. Do what you must. I'll suffer it if it leaves me free to go. No! We can stay. Please, Ruth, let us stay. Look at you. Your counterfeit, a sham of a thing. Your so-called life is no life at all. Caleb lied and stole your love. But when the time was right, you lied and stole his body. We're ending this nonsense now. Oh yeah, I'm blaming Caleb. Caleb Watson, your past saving. We can but grant you the mercy of oblivion. But, but what about me? What about Ruth? Ruth is free to go. I shall have my rest now. Thank you. No, sir, no winning for you. The line twixt love and hate is thin and easily crossed, especially between brothers. None are better placed to wound than your own blood. Okay, let me go see something. Don't take it to heart. Their choices are not your business. Our choices are my business. And the consequences too. Our love story. Someone inside's hard at work. 
Wait. Spectral stains. Haunted house. Hmm. This one? Oh yeah, this is the house I went in before last time. Wasn't ready to come in here yet. New England primer. Looks new. Looks local. Hallowed be thy name, Marcy. Our beloved angel, heaven sent. I'm busy. What do you want? Apologies for the interruption, sir. What do you want, McCray? What happened to your hands, you? An angel came down from heaven and gave me the mark of the Lord Jesus. We may talk about his good word, if you wish to hear it. Stigmata? That's surprisingly Catholic. I'll assume you did not mean that slander, but be warned, I'll not take it again. Tell me about this angel. How did you meet? The angel is my sister, and she bears the mark of the Lord. Marcy wandered in the wilderness for many days and nights, and then one day she returned to lead her people to salvation. He's haunted by a ghost, but thinks she's an angel. I hope you're taking note, Red McGrath. I'm sorry you lost your sister, and I'm glad you got her back. Tell me about her. Do you believe in miracles, Mr. McRae? I believe in the supernatural, and I believe in the extraordinary, so... Aye, I believe in miracles. I don't believe in angels, though. If you are blessed enough to meet my sister, then you'll change your mind. I'd like that. Where can I find her? Near the old mill. Hidden at the end of Long Beach is a cave, our sacred place. She will be there. They never could find her body, but she is still there. I must take my leave of you, sir. God keep you, for I shall not. Okay, interesting. Starts a whole new quest, but for now, let me complete. If Hugh puts his faith in his sister's ghost. He's a fool. He's looking to his faith to give him answers, but he's looking in the wrong place. Governor. May I help you, Mr. McCraith? I have to admit, this is an unusual case. Yes, yes, but have you solved it? I believe so. But the culprit was not responsible for the plague. At least not directly. Have you found the witch or have you not? Someone here has been dabbling in some dark magic. I have the name. So? What are you waiting for? Don't you want to hear the name? I do not need to. The principle is what matters. Not exactly. The name is Lamentation Haskell. No, it can't be. My son is studious. Curious? Too curious at times, perhaps. But he does not have a bad bone in his heart. He showed Caleb Watts in a ritual. The cobbler used it and became possessed. Even if true, 
it would only mean my son was exposed to corruption. It happened before. Bring me proof, Banisher. Find the real source of evil. Since when has the governor required proof? I'll get it. Mark me. I must find your son, Governor. Sooner rather than later. His interests take him hither and thither. If he isn't here, he must be working on the outskirts. He's been sprucing up one of the abandoned houses there. I ordered them emptied when the sickness hit. Here, take the gate key. Go there. See for yourself. You're wrong about him. You're wrong about my son. Needless to say that I count, of course, on your discretion. Okay, got gate keys and an update to the Witchfinder quest. Let's see, any goodies up here I can take? He was quick to condemn till it was his own son on the block. Who's he really protecting? We'll bring him the proof he wants. If the boy is guilty, his father may not be able to protect him. Let's take a look at the map and see where that is. In comparison to... Oh, this is the rescue mission. Nice, I can actually knock that out. So we got... Here's the Witchfinder's Curse. Here's the other... Uh, haunting case that we have a follow-up. And we can do um, the rescue mission. So, I will leave that for the next video. Let's... Uh, do some resting. Let's see what kind of upgrades we got. So I still haven't figured out whether I want to swap out these things. What do I need for the brooch? Nest silk. That's exactly what it is. That's why it hasn't been upgraded any higher. This one needs nest, nest, nest. Do I have any other brooches? Yeah, it drops my wisdom, but I get more persistence and more spirit. So, yeah, we're just going to take that one since I don't have any nest silk. And I can go ahead and upgrade it, too. Oh, well, the very next one needs nest silk. I need to figure out where I can get some more nest silk. But I will do that in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.